Ah! That is the chop. It is a violent attacking of your cello with this brute club that we hold in our hand that we uh, call a bow, euphemistically. But really, the chop is about violence. It's about expressing your anger through non-pitched percussive move movement. Um, that's actually, well, that's one approach to the chop. The other approach to the chop is, is a finesse, sing, uh, sophisticated physical movement that allows you to activate a range of textures in your percussive and chordal plane. Uh, so let's, let's just have like an intro to the chop. The chop, uh, when we boil it down to its essential elements, is a combination of two things. We're going to combine a scraping motion usually forward, a purely forward or backward scrape is what we're looking for. We're going to combine a very short scrape with essentially gravity. We're going to drop our weights of our arm and our hand into the string through the bow. So if we drop the bow into the instrument and then at the moment of contact we allow a very short clean and precise scrape, we get the chop. Sounds great. And uh, so the chop is going to be kind of like, like a guitarist, uh, if they like strum their strings muted, uh, is a similar, it's a similar sound. And in fact, this word and this technique has its origins in mandolin playing uh, in a bluegrass band. It can also simulate essentially like the snare drum of a drum set. And so because it's uh, simulating a snare drum or a guitar or mandolin muted strum, the chop is almost always going to be on the back beat. And so we want to set up some patterns that allow us to use the chop on the back beat. So our first pattern is going to be note, chop, note, chop. I want you to say that with me. Note, chop, note, chop. That sounds like this. Note, chop, note, chop. The things uh, to keep in mind is that your note is a horizontal motion, but your chop is a forward motion. This is kind of new uh, in our coordination as cellists uh, with a, like if you only have like a purely classical background. And so I want to say that if you have a little bit of horizontal motion in your chop, you will likely get a crunch, much like the one I just demonstrated. A crunch is cool, but it is not a chop. So make sure that as you coordinate, you get horizontal motion and then purely forward motion for the chop. The other thing is that I'm going to be dampening the string with my left hand to really ensure that I get a non-pitched percussive sound with the bow. With that in mind, let's try our first pattern again. Note, chop, note, chop. You'll notice that I'm chopping very, very close to the frog, where all my arm weight and ham hand weight can naturally go into the string. Um, if you chop away from the frog, like in the balance point or even further out, you'll likely get a bounce. A bounce is cool too, but it is not a chop. So make sure you chop really like under your finger of your hand so that you get a really clean chop with just arm weight and not, not too much forcing. Let's learn... Uh, let's learn another pattern, okay? So now we could fill in some of the subdivisions, keeping the chop on the back beat, and we could go note, note, chop, note, 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 chop, note, say it with me. Note, note, chop, note, 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 chop, note. Sounds like this here. <laughs> Don't try it yet though, because there's one more thing 
I want you to verbalize. I want you to verbalize the bowing direction. So we're going to say down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up. You can even air bow it. And the reason this is hard uh, for some at first is because after the chop, we're going to have an up bow. And that's really important to remember so that we stay on the grid. We want to have a constant grid of down-up motions. And that'll look like this. Down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop. This is the beginning of a brand new way of life for you as a cellist entering the world of rhythmic string playing uh, and particularly making use of the chop. If you want to learn more about the chop, you got to come to artistworks.com and check out all of our great lessons and check out our chopping etudes from the Contemporary Cello Etudes book because it's a whole world to dive into and uh, hopefully this introduction will get you started.